So I enjoy WandaVision like almost everyone else right now, and what I particularly love about this show is the costuming. And I was so inspired by the costuming, I decided to make a 1950s Agatha-inspired dress. For this dress, I wanted to make an authentic 1950s style, so I made this dress from this pattern right here. Number 341, and it's a blouse pattern from Simplicity. And for extra guidance, I also used this Simplicity sewing book from 1957 and this lovely textbook, The Bishop Method of Clothing and Construction, and both of these were my grandmother's. For this dress, I used this type of plaid, and it's not an exact replica of what they have in the show, but it's pretty close, and I really liked the pattern on it, and I thought it would give a nice contrast similarly to Agatha's actual dress. Now for this process I largely followed the pattern from the blouse and I ran into a couple issues. I was missing a few pieces, most importantly the back bodice piece, so I had to draft that entirely by myself and I did this by looking at the pattern pieces in comparison to each other on the instructions and I altered a few things and I made a mock-up which ultimately helped me get the right pattern for my final dress. Now I'm not going to show you the mock-up because it's pretty boring but I wouldn't have to do that if I actually had the full pattern. <laughs> I started out by cutting out all of my pattern pieces using the right directional grain lines. It's really important for this project to have nice clean plaid lines. The first step that I did according to the instructions is that I made all of the darts. Now these darts are tucked darts excluding the side bust dart which is just a normal dart. And after I completed all the darts, I sewed the front and the back bodice pieces together. For the collars and the cuffs, I just overturned the stitching. I cut the corners, of course, to make it lie flatter. And then I ironed it and sewed them onto the appropriate piece. I sewed the collar on after I sewed the bodice pieces together. And... It forms a one collar piece because you put both sides of the collar together in the back and then you sew it on to the front of the blouse. I did over stitching to make sure it lied the way I wanted it to. And I did this according to the Bishop's Construction Guide. Next I made plackets for the sleeves and I just followed the little instructions on the book of how big to make it and I just hand sewed each side together to make a nice open finish to get the sleeves to lay. I gathered rows of stitching for the sleeves on both sides. I sewed the cuffs on by attaching them to the underside of the arm on the wrong side and then I turned it over and then I folded over the cuff again and attached it to the top of the sleeve so it has this really nice over overcasting on it but I concentrated the gathers on the top of the arm instead of all around like the other side because on the design sleeve it shows they're being gathering only on the top of the sleeve and not all around the sleeve And I know what you're wondering, how did you finish this? 
And how I finished this according to a lot of these sources is that you either leave it raw, you overcast it by hand, or you just pink it. Now, from what I've read, they didn't really care that much for home dressmaking to finish all of the edges, so what you would do is just press them open with an iron, and then you'd be done. I didn't have a skirt pattern, so I looked at the Simplicity Sewing Book, and I measured my waist measurement, and I did some calculations to figure out how big I needed to make the waist, and how I was going to accomplish that, and I ended up going down the row and drafting my own skirt based on the skirt pattern that they show in the photos from the Simplicity book. I didn't film a whole lot of it because it was really late at night, but all I did was that I made the front piece one piece and then I put, it, I put the pattern on the fold, the straight edge, and then I did the back in two panels because I didn't have enough fabric to make it one panel. I sewed the panels together and then I had a skirt. I left an opening for the zipper and this has a zipper on the side. And after that my dress was done! Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!